Welcome back to another Thursday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your Thursday host, Yucca. And this week we have been talking about numerology and a couple of different books. So I'm going to jump into the topic, but before I do, I want you want to let you know that I have a question for you at the end of the video. So stay tuned to that and let me know your answer in the uh, comment section. So anyways, our question comes from Rachel. Um, who has two different parts to it. First, they write, unless I missed a week in the topic list, the last time the channel talked specifically about numerology was in year two. Um, could we revisit that topic? And topic number two, have we read Drawing Down the Moon or Pagans and the Law? If so, what are our opinions on them? So. On the first one, numerology, I don't have a lot to contribute to this topic because it's not something that, I mean, I'm aware that it exists, but it's not really part of my practice. Um, and, you know, I'm not very well informed on what it is. What I, my general sense of it is that it's another set of tools, something like tarot, um, in that it's a way that people find meaning, gather meaning um, from symbols outside of them um, and kind of interpret that in, within themselves. But it's not a framework or type of framework that I really click with. So it's not something that I know that much about. I know that some people love it. It's awesome for some people and great for them. Uh, but one of the great things about modern paganism is that we really are very diverse and if something doesn't work for you, um, but something else does, then great, go with what works for you. Um, and it's okay to not know everything about everything. And I know that's been something which sometimes can be a little bit disappointing or hard for viewers sometimes when they're watching and they want to know more about a particular topic, but as hosts, not everybody knows about every single topic. So we have certain things to bring to the table and, and other things that, you know, we don't know that much about. So this is one of those topics I really don't know too much about. Um, but in terms of the books listed, um, I do have a copy of Drawing Down the Moon and I read that years ago, um, it's probably the, my first or second year in college, um, I had to take a humanities class. And so I took comparative religions and was actually read it for that class. It wasn't assigned by the instructor, but we got to kind of pick, um, several different religions that to compare and contrast and I picked up that book and I absolutely loved having it. Um, it's specifically about American witchcraft but it gave me a context for understanding a lot of the things that I was seeing in pagan groups that I was interacting with and just gave me just um, context, right? That perspective to understand what was going on on a larger scale than only what I had been exposed to. So I really loved it for that reason. Um, it is very academic. Um, I know that some people can describe it as kind of dry because it is coming at this from a, looking at it from a historical perspective, looking at it very, trying to be objective, even though the author, um, herself was a pagan so was part of it but trying to examine it within that academic context so it's not necessarily something that everybody would enjoy but if you are you kind of do have that uh, bend towards enjoying that type of writing then it's then it's excellent um, and of course it's chock full of references um, citations, which was great. Um, so I love that book and it's something that I would definitely suggest for people wanting a little bit more context about American witchcraft and paganism. The other book 
which is Pagans in the Law, uh, I was not familiar with, and I have ordered a copy of the book because now I'm very curious about it, and it should be arriving in the next few days, so I'll, I guess I'll have to return to that topic at another point and let you guys know what I thought of it. Um, but I don't know too much about it. So that's my um, two cents on this week's topic. And the question that I have for you, which is related to this, is if what book would you suggest someone read? So if somebody could only read one book that would help them understand your particular uh, practice or path as a pagan, what would that one book be? And if you're not a pagan, what are you? And what would that book be for you? Um, I think that for me, it actually would not be um, a nonfiction book. The one book that I would have folks read would be The Fifth Sacred Thing by Starhawk. Um, because that really, you get to know the, the approach, um, the practices, that sort of thing, because uh, I do have a lot of reclaiming uh, influences, and y you get a good feeling and details as well. So that's the book for me. I'd love to hear in the comment section what the book would be for all of you. So until next week, take care.